Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be reviewing one of my favorite albums of all time. As you hear in the background, what's up in three? Let's go. I want to tell you a quick story. Uh, personal story. The battle of what's up in one and three. So I went to either a Target or a Walmart. I think it was, actually I think it was a Target. I wanted to get a record, Led Zeppelin record. I saw one of them at Target, and actually I ended up seeing two: Led Zeppelin one, and Led Zeppelin three. Now I have Led Zeppelin two. I have the first five on vinyl. I'm going to try and get copies of the Ring Masters of each album because I like all the albums. They're all great. I actually, when I went to the store, I was trying to think, hey, these are both equally awesome albums. I was like, hey, which one has better songs? I like, th I, I bought this one because, like, hey, it's got classics. Good times, bad times, baby, I'm going to leave you, days are confused. How many more times? I can quit you, baby. Look. They're all classics to me, so I was like, hey, this, I gotta get this. Today, I went to Target to find the new Pearl Jam album, because I'm a big, I like, I like Pearl Jam, I'm a, I'm a Pearl Jam fan. The new album, Giga Time, came out, got it. And I was like, hey, if we can find it, I'd like to buy it. We didn't find it. But what, guess what I found? Let's have three. Now... I've had this for like a year and a half, two years. In two years, I'll be like, hey, I want to get this at some point. Because I've heard it's really good. Um, I bought it. I was like, hey, I might, might as well buy it, buy it while, I ha while they have it. It's in stock. <coughs> uh, so I was like, hey, can I buy this? It's 25 bucks. And I was, that's normal for vinyl. That's normal for 180 gram vinyl now. I bought... Um... I bought like I don't know Queen Day at the Races twenty five bucks. All my all my one eighty is like around twenty five thirty bucks because it's, it's vinyl now. Vinyl is ex more expensive than it was fifty years ago. That was like I don't know two bucks for a mono copy and like three fifty for like a stereo. But yeah, so I got this. I I've, I've just listened to it. It's awesome, amazing. Because on this stereo. If you're, if you're like where I am right now, not hearing it from this, it sounds absolutely awesome. The best! That's the food! <coughs> I'm sorry. First, uh, what it looks like. Yeah. Classic photo of the band. Bottom. Uh, Paige. Purple Jones. Clamp. Uh, Spine. It is just regular. Zeppelin, Zeppelin 3, Atlantic, and it has the uh, code, the uh, catalog code. <coughs> of course, open it, comes with the wheel. That's my favorite part of this record because it's got a nice wheel. Look at the uh, look, look at him. This is like the best John Paul Jones picture in my opinion. Uh, Eightfold. I learned that today. I thought it was like a singular thing. That was the like, almost split in half for the back wheel. Uh, but yeah, it's a gatefold. Uh, this. This. Got song credits if you wanna observe, take a screenshot. Uh, I just learned out, I just learned today. I knew Gallus Pole was a traditional tune. I knew. I did, however, I didn't know Roy Harper was a traditional cut. I thought that was just like something Led Zeppelin thought of. I've heard, I've heard different uh, versions of Gallows Pole. But they don't add the actual, like, who, of course, like, you can't probably, you probably can't find who rep, rep these songs. But, like, this is probably, I don't know, a few hundred years old, these songs, because they're traditional, so. Traditions have been, traditional songs have been like, I don't know, I don't know for like 500 years. Not even like probably more. Probably thousands of years, who knows? Like Jesus on the main line, uh. I think 
backpack train, something like that. Uh, but there's some songs, there's some songs, uh, traditional, so you don't know what the words. They just write who arranged it. Uh, so yeah. Time to get into the songs. Am I right? Or am I right? So, yeah. First song that we open up with. Hey. We open up with the great immigrant song. Honestly, I thought the guitar was a lot, <clears throat> a lot more present in the beginning. I thought it was like a, a guitar. I think it sounds uh, more frail than I thought it was. <coughs> Sorry, I gotta clean my throat. <clears throat> yeah, Emmerich song, probably the first Led Zeppelin song I ever remember hearing. Um, yeah, I'd say. I'm a little, I'm starting to get a little burnt out on it, because I've been listening to Zeppelin like a lot lately. I did, I did the Zeppathon, I did, I listened to all the Zeppelin albums in, the, in a day. Or actually two days. Uh, yeah, it, it went from like, I don't know, 11 a.m. to like, I don't know, 12, 12 a.m. So I was like, yeah, that was like a, um, that was like a full 13 hours of just Led Zeppelin. I did, I, like, I did not stop. Actually, I stopped to take a shower, but hey, that's the only break I took. Um, yeah, that was, uh, I like this, I rate this a good, good seven and a half, I'm a little burn out on it, burn out on it. If I wasn't, I'd be like an 8.5, but hey. He's a very underrated song, friends. It should have been the theme song for Friends. Uh, try that. This song. Uh, this is a really, I feel like this is really underrated. This just got probably more uh, attention in the Led Zeppelin uh, fan base because the, it was released as a single with um, ro the sound, Sunset Sound Mix or uh, whatever it is, uh, rock and roll. It was like a single. I was like, I gotta buy that. I don't, I don't. I don't remember if there was a different mix of friends, but I rate this song good eight, a good a eight point five because this is one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs. Cause it's, like, it's a little, it's more folky than others. Next song, I believe, this leads in from this song. people. Celebration Day. This is one of the more well-known songs from this album. Uh, I would rate this a good eight. I like it. I like the most of the songs. There's only like some songs that I don't I'm a little burnt out on. Like Tangerine, That's the Way, Out in the Tiles. Uh, honestly, not as big of a fan as Brian or Stop. Uh, but I like it. I think it's good. I have to rate this a good. <clears throat> I don't know if I just said it. Uh, eight? I don't know. I forget my rating. Wait, 20 seconds later. <coughs> we lead in to my all time favorite Les Elkin song. Because I'm a big blues fan. Since I've been loving you. This is the longest song on the album. I feel it's got the greatest um, Art Plant vocals. Because I saw a pitch correcting Robert Plant video. I was like, hey, I forget what song this is. I was like, oh, it's Since I've Been Loving You. I love that song. So I went back to revisit it. Now it's my, been my favorite Liz Evans song for like, I don't know, three weeks. I've always liked this song. Uh, yeah. I rate this. Oh my god, this is like a. 9.5 for me. This is actually this is like a 11 out of 10. This is like an amazing song. Uh, next, we're gonna go to the last song. We're 
going to um Albert Kyle's. Uh, I rate this a good good 6.5. A little burnt out on it. I used to do like a 8.5. I thought it was like a really good song. It, it still is a really good song, but I'm trying to get a little burnt out on it. I am not. I think it's good. I'm trying to avoid as little copyright as possible, so I'm playing only little bits of songs. Now it's got ten songs. That was track five. Flip it over to side two. It starts off with one of my favorite Led Zeppelin songs. I like a lot of songs from these. From this out, the first four. Starts off with really great. Dallas Pole. Ready for the start. Uh, I rate this a good nine. I think it's like my number two favorite uh, Office album. Number two favorite Let's Up One song in general, probably how many more times. Kind of like the long bluesy ones. The long bluesy Let's Up One songs are the great ones. Stairway is like my number three. Yes, it's a masterpiece. We all know that. It's common science. But hey, I'm starting to get a little brown on it. Because, you know, I'm going to. Well, how much that is played on rock classic rock radio? I mean, I love that song to death, but come on, it's great. Come burn out. Next song we are going to be checking out is King Dream. It's a good seven and a half. Honestly, I forget if there's words. Hey, there's words. Uh, yeah, I read a good seven point five. Going to, I believe that's the way. Yeah, that's the way. I think it's the, one of their songs. Uh, I believe this is um, No Quarter, Our Plant, and Jimmy Page. I, I remember seeing video and then doing this. I was like, this is a great version. I don't know. I forget if they put it on the CD. But they put it on the CD, by the way. I think it's a really great CD. If you don't, if you don't have it, buy it. Pick it up. It's great. Next song on your stop. I mean, this is a good eight. This is a, this is a classic. Instrumental. So, um, go to that last song. That's off Roy Harper. I like this song. This is one of the. This is one of those songs that kind of confused me because of the beginning. I forgot this was an actual song, I swear to God. Until I listened to it like five days ago. It's so kind of fresh in my mind. So I, I like this song. I've listened to it within the last month. I've like listened, listened to it within the last month. Zeppelin 3. Overall, I rate the album a good 8.5. Now if if not 9. So yeah, I think it's one of the better albums. One of the finer albums. Of course, Physical Graffiti is better. 
I'm gonna put a comment. I'm gonna put a thing in the comment section. Like, hey, if you like this graffiti, comment on what you rate it and like it. Click the comment and uh, tell me what you rate it. All you rate it. One out of ten. You can go over. Uh, you can go over ten. But yeah. But yeah, that's my rating. Zeppelin nine. I rate that a nine. And goodbye.